Richard Plepler has a famous quote, more is not better, better is better. And I think if you sort of just step back and think about that for a second, this is not saying, hey, you need all Game of Thrones or you need all Squid Games or you need all um, Stranger Things. Obviously, things like Tiger King did really well. Netflix needs content that breaks through, that enters the zeitgeist, the crown. You, you can go through all of the titles over the last seven or eight years that have done that. If you look back over the past year, it just feels like it, relative to the spend, $17 billion of spend, it just doesn't feel like the hit ratio has been high enough. And especially not just on the TV series, on the movie side, they are clearly not getting the return on the movie spent. Probably five plus billion of that 17 is on movies. It just isn't getting it done. And so they made a lot of excuses. I think the content success and the content hit ratio, it's not spending too much. It's honestly, the, the titles are not landing with the level of the success they need to, given the rising level of competition that Sarah correctly spoke about earlier. Sarah, it, uh, just listening to that, I was thinking, wow, you really don't need to think a lot about sports and, and content. So no wonder it's so valuable, uh, I, I guess, uh, because it is Rich struggled to find like five game changers. That's a, that's a, bad, that's a bad omen when you, you're like you're groping and you came up with, with five finally, but it wasn't easy. So can you imagine, just because it's, and you said it, just because it's $17 billion doesn't mean there's a crown in there, does it, Sarah? I, they, they, and you, you've got to, guess, I guess, hire the best creative minds in Hollywood, uh, again, about content. Yep, that's right. And notice that a lot of those series that were mentioned, Bridgerton, Ozark, these are now in their you know, subsequent series. We haven't had a new hit come out in a really long time. I would argue that another problem is actually the user experience. When you log on to Netflix, there is so much content. There is so much that you can be wading through. It's a little bit overwhelming. And from a marketing perspective, to me as a consumer, it's not as clear and distinct what HBO, uh, or sorry, what Netflix is investing in versus services like HBO. You look at Netflix, when you see that little red N for originals in the Netflix corners, to me, that's a signal of a sloppy Netflix original that's just going to be a ripoff of some you know, cheesy pay TV thing that they're doing for scale. When you see an HBO Max original, it is a signal of quality. And so I think Netflix needs to figure out, one, how are they going to increase the frequency of hits, not just relying on new subsequent seasons, but then two, how do they reputationally become a platform that's known for producing quality the same way that HBO Max does for adult and teen content, the same way that Disney does for family content. They do not have that reputation and it's going to continue to bite them down the line, especially to Rich's point, outside of some of the big guys, other streaming platforms are coming in and they're starting to invest heavily. It's going to continue to get more competitive unless they kind of can break through here. 